Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batul and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. So, uh, as we were looking the current uses of hexadecimal numbers in computing, so the very first use that we have seen are the memory dumps. So in this video, I am going to discuss these memory dumps in a more detail with you, right? So what are memory dumps? Let me share the definition first. Okay, so here we go. This is the definition of a memory dump. Let's see this. A display or printout of all or selected contents of RAM. What is RAM? RAM is a random access memory, right? It's a kind of memory. So what it is saying, it is saying a display or a printout of all or selected content of a RAM. Basically, it's a content that is being stored inside a memory, right? That is basically known as a memory dump. You, when you have a display or a printout of something uh, that is displaying the content that is stored in a memory, then that printout or that display of memory is basically called the memory dump. Okay, what next? After a program abandons, crashes, a memory dump is taken in order to analyze the status of the program, right? So why these memory dumps are basically used? They are used for debugging purpose, right? And in order to trace the errors, in order to find out the errors, we use these memory dumps. This line basically says that for example, I am using a program. Let's suppose I am typing something on MS Word and for a certain issue, um, I don't know why, but suddenly my program crashes or it just uh, end up in an abnormal way, right? Then what I am going to do I am going to see the error behind it. What is the reason I am going to debug it and find out where the error came, why that program is crashed. So in order to find it out, I am going to take memory dump, right? I am going to see the memory dump of that particular program. The memory dump is what? It is basically, uh, let me, Take an example of a memory dump over here. Let's suppose this is my computer screen, right? Uh, let me write a memory dump and then coming back to you. Okay, so for example, this is my display screen and I have taken a memory dump when my this program has crashed, right? So it is what? It is basically in the form of hexadecimal. And let me tell you that what is this? at my very right, sorry, at my very left, this is my left, I am uh, watching the memory locations, right? These are my memory locations. And this is the memory content that is being stored in this particular memory location, right? So this is a type of memory dump. Uh, this is how uh, we see the memory content that is inside the memory, how we see it in my display screen or uh, in a paper when I take a printout of it, right? So this is how we take memory dumps uh, and see uh, the errors and uh, the errors that are being uh, causing the program to crash or to just uh, end up in a very abnormal way, right? So. The key point here is that the memory dump is in the form of hexadecimal number, right? This is the important thing. This is what I am uh, telling you here in this video that the very first use of hexadecimal numbers is the memory dumps. And we have seen that uh, in this example, what is this? The locations, memory locations, these are in the form of hexadecimal numbers as well as the memory content is also in the form of hexadecimal numbers. And why is it so? Why? Because it is easier for us to display it in a hexadecimal number system. Why? Because it takes lesser 
डिस्प्ले राइट लेसर डिस्प्ले स्क्रीन आई कैन शो मोर ऑफ माई मेमरी कंटेंट इन अ लेसर स्पेस राइट सो दिस इज द रीजन बिहाइंड यूजिंग हेक्सा डेसिमल नंबर्स इन ऑर्डर टू शो मेमरी डाम्स और मेमरी कंटेंट राइट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन ट्रेस एरर्स थ्रू मेमरी डाम्स एंड वन मोर थिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट हेयर you must have a powerful knowledge of computer architecture right you must be a good computer architect in order to interpret these results right a normal programmer or just a uh, user cannot interpret these results you need to be an architect so that you can uh, see that the where these particular locations exist and what is meant by these uh hexadecimal digits and how you can find out the errors so it needs a detailed uh expertise in the field of computer architecture right so thank you so much for watching it i hope that uh memory dumps are clear to you and how they are using hexadecimal numbers right so i hope you are clear about it and uh, i haven't seen past paper example of these so um in the next videos we will see other uses of hexadecimals and in those uh, videos i am going to share the past people examples too right so thank you so much for watching it in the next video i am going to tell you about the color codes that are you using that are basically in the form of hexadecimal numbers right so thank you so much for watching it see you in the next video so stay tuned stay connected and thank you so much for watching my videos please like it share it subscribe the channel and please give me best wishes and please comment and give me feedback as well because your feedback is very important right so thank you so much take care